on your screens an important bit of detail and that is coming in from Kane India the stock to watch out for in trades tomorrow morning clearly because Kane Energy which was the erstwhile remember promoter of Kane India which holds a minority stake in the company is set to exit and the British major could sell its 10% stake in the open market all this comes at a time when Vedanta the majority shareholder in Kane India is trying to merge the company with itself and this proposal faced stiff resistance from minority shareholders like in India and Nantara Rai is right here with all the details and Nantara so good to have you on the show it's coming in as a big big development at uh, Kane when everybody had written off Kane Vedanta merger the big single largest shareholder of Kane India is looking at exiting of course there were tax angles attached to that as well uh, thanks, Nisha. It's good to be on the show. First up, I'd like the producers to perhaps not say that Kane Energy to sell 10% stake in Kane India. Rather, it wants to sell. Uh, like you pointed out, there are tax angles to it. So here's the latest development. Kane Energy, which is facing a notice, tax notice of 30,000 crore rupees from the in Indian Income Tax Department and has its shares attached in Kane India, has today informed the shareholders that it's calling an annual general meeting on the 12th of May to seek shareholder approval to sell its entire entire residual stake in Kane India. It sounds much simpler than it is, uh, with Kane Energy admitting in that very circular to the shareholders that right now it is not permitted to sell its shares in Kane India. However, it wants to maintain flexibility because it believes it has a strong case against the government. Now I'll come to the real juicy part in which Kane Energy I should point out I've been tracking this company for a long time, has even spoken about a participating in any possible merger that may involve Kane India. Now, you spoke about, uh, you know, Vedanta's offer uh, to try and merge Kane India with itself. Kane Energy will have to get on board. It's the second largest minority shareholder in Kane India. Uh, so we... So just that one sentence would allude to the fact that maybe, just maybe, and I'd like to point out I've not spoken to anyone as, as yet on the phone or anything, that Kane Energy is considering the possibility of that merger which you know till yesterday i would have thought was a big no no but the big headline of course being the kane energy seeking shareholder approval to sell the residual stake in kane india that it's open to uh, any merger involving kane india it's open to any buyback pro uh, programs involving kane india also taking shareholder approval to take part in block deals as well as open market transactions but like i pointed out the shares of kane energy in kane india are attached by the in income tax department we have seen kane energy trying to initiate arbitration proceedings uh, with the Indian government uh, but Kane Energy believing it wants to go ahead and get shareholder approval to maintain flexibility so leading us to believe that maybe it's open to an idea of a merger. Oh, that's right. Well pointed out, Nantara, because that's going to be the biggest takeaway from this particular uh, notice that has come out from Kane Energy. By the stocks of both Kane India as well as uh, Vedanta come tomorrow morning because there is a glimmer of hope now of that merger really happening because at least Kane Energy is open to selling its stake back to Kane India or at least is open to selling that stake it holds in Kane India. So that's an important, important development and those stocks to watch out for in tomorrow's uh, trade let's take it